In this video, I'm going to show you how I move um, cards from one Trello board into another Trello board. So I've purposely got let this get really messy over the last few weeks so that I can show you how to tidy it up automatically. What is going to happen is I what what well, how I do it is I have like a, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I go through the week and I have my social media posts planned out and um, and I label them all so I, I can see what's happening when. So I've got a good mix throughout the week, and um, then once I've posted that particular post, they then move onto a board called Done which then it's all sort of all categorized into the different types of posts that I've written just so that I can see what I'm doing keep on top of what I am doing and if any of these posts have worked out really really well then I can repurpose them for the future again also with my weekly menopause Mondays because I do one every week it's very easy to forget what subjects I've looked at in depth and so what I don't want to do is be repeating the same old stuff regularly so I can pop down into here and I can see what I've been doing and um, and then it sort of helps me keep you know keep up with new uh, new content for for that so I'm just going to go back to my social media content calendar and I'm literally just going to be showing you how to automate using one particular automation and then I will do other short videos showing other automations so to use your automations what you can do is you can either go up to the right hand of your screen here and click automation or you can click show menu and you've got the automation option there so I've set up quite a few rules already. So we're going to get, there's various automations that you can do here. I'm going to just go into rules and you'll see that I've got quite a few rules set up. However, I'm just going to show you how I set these rules up. So most of them you'll see when the due date is marked as complete in a card in a particular list, which I've defined, it also defines the color and the name of the label. You can move the card to the bottom of the list of a particular list on a particular board, okay? so. Just to reiterate, what I do is when I, um, sorry, let me just go back into my boards here. So when I go back into my social media calendar board, essentially when I mark like this one, they said run. When I mark that as complete, it will then automatically, you can see that's on a, uh, on a Wednesday and I tend to share a happy quote or a recipe on a Wednesday, but for the way, the way my Instagram is working, I've used a bootcamp related or a fitness related post instead. So when I click check that as done, that is going to be moved to my social media card and it will go down into this list here. So my bootcamp posts. And this is where I just stay on top of all my various posts that I've done. OK, so just to go back into my social media card. Right. I'm going to. I've got my Trello open twice so that I can sort of jump backwards and forwards because it's going to be quicker and easier to show you. So you can see that I've got several rules set up all right all, already. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go create rule. And what you have to do is you have to establish a trigger for an action to be performed. So I'm going to click trigger. I've got the advanced toggle on because I need to be able to specify certain uh, parameters. If I didn't have the advanced toggle, I wouldn't be able to do, do such a sort of an, an in-depth rule. So it's you've got various triggers here. You can move the card, change the card when the card has been changed, date, checklist, et cetera, et cetera. I'm focusing specifically on the date here because I date all my posts. So what I want to be able to do is when I check my date off, that it automatically moves into that um, holding uh, board where I've got all my previously posted um, captions and posts in there. So when the, I'm going to choose this one. So you'll see there's three triggers that you can choose from and you can tweak them, you can change them up. So when the due date is marked as complete, you could also have incomplete in a card. Now I'm going to go, I've already set this one up. So I'm going to now look, go back to my social media calendar um, board so I can see what which I want to focus on next. So I'm just going to go back to my social media. I've already done my Thursdays. So on my Fridays, I can see that because it's mixed up a bit. 
I've got, okay, boot camp, boot camp, boot camp, and possibly one lifestyle. I'd label everything fitness or health related boot camp. I should, probably should call it health, but it, I, that's the way I started it. And that's what I've, I'm going to stick with that for the moment. It just makes sense in my, in my mind. So I could actually go into this card and I could take lifestyle off because to be quite honest, it's not particularly relevant. So I'm just going to go to boot camp and I will probably get rid of that label, actually, because I want to keep my labels as specific as possible. So essentially boot camp in my in my mind means health. So I'm just going to click out from that now. So I can see on Fridays, literally all I've got right now is boot camp related posts. So I don't necessarily need to add anything more to it. I probably am going to add business because technically Friday is a good uh, is a good day to post a business related post for those people who are <laughs> sat in the office, sick of what they're doing and are looking for a different uh, career change. And if I can write something that might inspire somebody to go for their dreams, then I think Friday is a great day to do that. Um, but just as it happens at the moment, all I've done is my bootcamp post. So I'm going to set up two rules for Friday and I will show you how I do that. So let's go in here. So when the due date is marked as complete in a card, I don't want it Thursday. So I'm going to click this, this little button here and I can change. So I want the Friday. It is called swipe throughs because when I planned it all out, that's what I would do on a Friday. But the... I post very freely and so it's related to what's going on in my life um, with a certain, certain amount of structure. So with the blue boot camp label, that's fine. So I'm gonna add Friday swipe through, it's gonna click that. And with the blue boot camp label is fine. I'm now gonna delete the Thursday business coach because I've already done that one in a previous rule. So when the due date is marked as complete in a card with the blue boot camp label in the list Friday swipe throughs. So I'll just show you. So the blue boot camp label in the list, Friday swipe throughs, <laughs> just to so, say, you know, if you're new to Trello, I don't want to go too fast. And if you know what you're talking about, I'm really sorry if this is taking a while to do, but I just wanted it to be explained really well. So now this is going to become my trigger. So I'm going to click that plus there. And now this is my trigger. So when the due date is marked as complete in a card with the blue boot camp label in the list, Friday swipe throughs, what is my action going to be? I want to move that card to the bottom of the list. Bootcamp posts, that's great. I could change that. I could change it for one of these posts here and on the board done social media. Now, sometimes I'm just going to show you if I'd changed like my, let me see, uh, business brain dump. Uh, my lists are going to be different because that board is set up differently. So you need to make sure you specify the board and mine is the done social media post library before you choose your list, just so that you're aware of that. And it's a, it's the bootcamp card. So I want to put it in the list called bootcamp posts. And now I'm going to click, click the plus. So just to recap, the trigger is when the due date is marked as completing a card with the blue bootcamp label in the list Friday swipe throughs. So this is the list, Friday swipe throughs. This is the card, the bootcamp card. Here's another bootcamp card. Here's another bootcamp card. And then that card gets moved to the bottom of the lists called bootcamp posts on the board done social media. So I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm gonna click save. It's just taking a little while probably because I'm zooming this. There we go. Right, I'll go to the bottom of this. And this is my saved rule that I've just created, okay? So I'm gonna show you it in action. So if I go to my social media and we did this, so have I got any? Yeah, I've got one here. So boot camp. why going to the gym sucks. Now this in a minute is gonna to pop to the bottom of here. So let me go back to this list. So I'm gonna click that. That goes to green, it means it's been checked off, it's marked as done. And in a few seconds, this will vanish. Come on, little card, fly away, fly away to the other board, which is awaiting you. Sometimes it does take a few seconds. It's probably because I'm doing my video and it's just delayed it a bit. Come on, there we go, it's gone. Now you'll see in my done social media. Here you go. Ta-da! 
it's arrived. How to know if you're dehydrated. How cool is that? Oh, sorry, why going to the gym sucks. There it is, it's popped up at the bottom. So you'll see here, my dates are a little bit out of whack um, because I've let my board, my social media board go messy, but I can easily just um, drag these because I like to keep everything in date order so I can, it just works in my weird little head. The rest of them are all in order. Um, so yeah, you can easily drag them if you want to and move them around like that. So you've got them in date order. So going back to my social media content calendar, I'm going to show you how to set up. So if I say, so if I had add a card here on my Friday swipe throughs, I'm going to just call it test. But I'm going to give it a different label. So I'm going to give it a business label and the due date is going to be um, Thursday, which is already passed. So it's, you can see it's overdue. OK, so I'm just going to click out of there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set up another rule. And here we go. So I'm going to add my trigger. It's date related again. Could be one of these. You just click on the one you want. Have an explore. You have a play with it. You can't actually do any harm. But if you don't like, if it's not working and it doesn't work, you know, you don't like what you've got, you can just click cancel or you can actually delete your automation as well. So what is going to be doing? This is what we want. This is the trigger. So when the due date is marked as complete in a card with the, we don't want the blue boot camp label. So we're going to click this because this is going to enable us to change that filter with the, it's the red business label. I'm going to add that. I'm going to remove the blue boot camp in the list Friday swipe throughs. We know that's the correct list. So that's my trigger. I'm going to click the plus sign. So this is my trigger. And my action is to move the card to the bottom of the list of business posts on the board done social media. So I click that, save. Ta -da! So I'm going to go into my social media content calendar and I'm going to click this is done. Let's hope that one. Yay, that moved a bit quicker. I'm going to go back to this board business posts test. You see it's there. Yeah, cool. Right. And if you wanted to delete a, a rule, all you do is you see these little icons above the various rules, you can just click that and that would delete it. So I'm going to show you what I'm literally going to replicate what I've just done on my next list. So if you if you've got it and don't want to watch any further, you know, by all means, leave. Um, otherwise, I'm going to just replicate and create another rule just so you can see it in action. So social media, I will go a bit quicker on this one. So on my Saturday, I've got business and I've got boot camp and I've got lifestyle. Lifestyle. OK, cool. I will have a lifestyle one. So now I'm going to set up three rules for the Saturday workout post business list. OK, so firstly, we are going to go create a rule. We need to add a trigger. It's going to be date related. So when the due date is marked as complete in we don't want Friday, we want Saturday. So I'm going to go into my filter here in the Saturday in with the we did have boot camp there, didn't we? And we also had business and we also had lifestyle, but I'm going to do boot camp at the moment. I could add other labels, but then it would add it to it would get too complicated when I'm moving it to my done uh, social media done board. So we're going to keep it very simple and we're going to just do one label at a time. So blue boot camp label. So I'm going to click that. So when the due date is marked as complete in the card and we don't want, uh, it's not the Friday, we need, and we want to get rid of that. And we want to change this. So we need to change it to Saturday, Saturday. Oh, it's because I didn't add the plus, that's why. So get rid of the Friday. So with the bootcamp label in the list Saturday, that's our trigger. This means it's assigned to me, but if you have other people that share your board, you can click that and you can, choose it by anyone, by me. If you've got certain members that have access to your board, you can spe specify them here and you can also create exemptions, but I don't worry about that. So I'm going to click plus and that is going to set my trigger. So when the due date is marked as complete in a card with the blue boot camp label in the list, Saturday workout post stroke business, my action is going to be to move. You can copy, move the board to the bottom of the list um, of boot camp posts on the board done social media. 
Okay, so we're going to save that. And we will just go and do it. So um, my workout isn't working for me like it used to. I know I've posted that. I'm going to click this as done. And now that is going to vanish and it will be at the bottom of my bootcamp posts. My workout isn't working for me like it used to. I'm also just going to move that up there so it's nice and tidy chronologically because I'm a little bit OCD like that. Um, and that's that. So what we can do, we'll do another one now just to show you. We'll do lifestyle because we've not done the lifestyle one yet. So we are going to go into create another rule. Add the trigger. Trigger is the date. So when the due date is marked as complete in the card with, we need to change this. We Saturday is, is the, the right list, but we want to change the card. So um, with the, where's my lifestyle one? With the green lifestyle label. So I'm going to click that. We're going to remove the blue bootcamp label. So in Saturday workout post, that's my list with the card green lifestyle label. We're going to add that as our trigger. And now we're going to move. This is going to be our action. We're going to move the card to the bottom of the list called lifestyle posts on the board of social media. So we're going to add that as our action. I'm going to save it. Ta -da! And you'll see, I think this is probably the last one. I think I, you've probably got the, the, the gist of it here. I'm going to click that as done. And it's going to automatically go to my done. Where are my lifestyle ones? Da -da -da -da. I must have one over here. Here we go. Women's dive day. There it is. Voila. Hey, so that's that's it in a nutshell. Um, I will show you more automations, but I wanted to really sort of explain this in depth to you if you're new to automations. I think a lot of videos go so fast, it's really hard to actually see, see it in, in practice. Um, what you could do is take a screenshot of this particular page, and then it will give you um, an idea of, of you know, and then copy it so that you, you can sort of toggle backwards and forwards between setting up your automation and um, your screenshot of this page so that you can actually sort of read how to, you know, it'll help you just work it out how to create that. With the free Trello account, you are only allowed a certain amount of automations to fire off during a certain period of time. Um, Sometimes I hit my limit, sometimes I don't. If I do hit my limit, it doesn't really matter. My limits are uh, allocated monthly. So if I have to go and move things uh, myself, what I would do is um, I could use like, uh, so, so if I go to the Wednesday one, the bootcamp workout clip, I know it's a bootcamp. So I click on here, I move to um, the, the board I need to change. So I move that to my done social media posts. And it, you can see it's got the blue bootcamp label. So it's the bootcamp post position. Don't worry about that too much. That basically is defaulting to the bottom of that, uh, of that list. And it's called, so we can go and find it. What was it called? Um, lacking motivation. I can't remember what the actual post was called on a workout clip. So it's just called workout clip. So I'm going to move that to the done social media posts board in under the list boot camps. You're going to move that and that will now have arrived on the bottom here, workout clip. Okay. I can check it now. It was done. Um, and then we'll just move that up here. So it's in the right order for date. And so you can see if you've run out of your automations, you can easily manually move them yourself just to repeat what I did then, just in case it's not completely clear. Um, that's the happy activity to stop playing small. So what I would do, I would go into the post, click move, choose my board, which is done. List is happy activity posts. Position is eight, that'll be at the bottom of that happy activity list. And I move it. And so if I go back to that board now, if I go to my happy activity, you'll see it's there, stop playing small. And now I'll check it off as done. So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, I will be doing more automation videos as we go on. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions about Trello or indeed working from home, how to create an income around an already busy lifestyle, um, please, please either click the link in, uh, in my bio to learn more or um, send me a message and I'd be happy to share, you know, not just what I do, but ideas that, you um, 
I think would be helpful to you given the you know your interests and various passions that you might have. 